Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. This is going to be a reaction video looking at the announcements for the Double Game Week 26. So this announcement was made just after the Game Week 25 deadline. So here we go. As you can see, for game week 26, now I'm not going to go through each individual um, fixture, but this is the original fixtures for game week 26, right? Okay. And as you can see, if I just scroll down, they have updated the website, and there we go. These are the extra fixtures that has been added to the double game week 26. Yeah, as you can see, Manchester City Wolves there. Um, I think Manchester City has a fixture at home as well. That looks really good against West Ham. I'm not going to go through this, but I'm just going to go through these ones here. So another fixture that's been added is Burnley versus Leicester. Um, Sheffield United versus Aston Villa. Crystal Palace versus Manchester United. Fulham versus Spurs. West Brom versus Everton. And Liverpool versus Chelsea. So these are the extra teams or the extra fixtures that's been added to the Double Gaming 26. Now, this is big. This is big news, right? You know, most of us are thinking to bench boost. You know, we want to get rid of that chip. I want to get rid of it. And looking at my team right now, as you can see, is actually not too bad. So, yeah, as you can see, I've got two Manchester United players there. Um away fixture against Chelsea and Crystal Palace. I've got three Manchester City players. Obviously, I'm not really expecting all of those players actually to play. There was going to be a lot of rotation there. Got Cancelo, Gundogan and Stones. Um, two back-to-back -back home games. As you can see, Song there um, at home against Burnley and away against Fulham. Salah um, away against Sheffield United and Chelsea. I've got Dallas, Rafinha and Banford and Antonio only so four single game week players for this double game week 26. Think about it, right? One transfer, I remove Antonio for Watkins, who's got a double game week, and I remove either Dallas or Rafinha. So I've got two single game week players. I might, instead of removing them, I might remove Mitchell, but let's just say Mitchell is kind of like um, in the starting 11 for this game week. I might keep him. So there's decisions to be made, but they're decisions that it's going to help my team. So it's definitely going to improve it. And I might just use the bench boost. You know, I have Martinez there um, on the bench uh, who can save a lot of shots. As long as I can get like one or two returns or even the players actually to play, it's going to be enough, I think. And obviously, I've got Calvert Lewin still. Great, great fixture there at home against um, Southampton and away against West Brom. Anyways, like, don't want to talk to you guys about more players, but this is how my team's looking like. It's quite interesting to see how it's kind of all planned out. I am, I'm angry that we didn't get the announcement earlier because maybe I could have wildcarded and fixed the team up beforehand and then kind of like start building for the blank game with 29 but i think i kind of survived um looking at this team it's actually not too bad with one or two changes using the bench boost i think yeah i'm just gonna go for it i, I know that i can get a better um defender there instead of mitchell because we're not certain that he's gonna play there might be some rotation that actually you know there is gonna be some rotation there with manchester city and i think it all depends if I want a bench boost with the single game with uh, Leeds United players. So that is the questions that I'm going to be asking myself. But yeah, like, let's go back to game week 26. These are the extra fixtures that has been added, guys. So have a look. Start planning your transfers. Uh, I wouldn't make any transfers right now. You know, game week 25 has just started. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are going to try their best to bring in more um, Tottenham players, Aston Villa. So you've got to kind of look ahead as well, right? You've got to see what kind of chips that you have. You don't have to use the bench boost, guys. But looking like investing in three Manchester City players is the way to go. Um, later on, bringing in more Southampton players um, could help. 
out for this uh, small double game week in game week 27. Uh, if we look ahead to game week 28, let's just look out for game week 29, right? This is where the big, big blank is. So I've got Fulham and Leeds, right? I've got to be careful of how many Leeds United players I'm going to remove. So looking at this now, how many players do I have right now, right? I've got one, so I've got one, two, three Leeds United players right now, right? I know that's going to change, but still, let's just look at what I've got right now. I've got nothing from here. I've got Antonio, so that's four. I have Martinez for my similar, that's five. And I've got Song, that is six. Six players for this blank game week is good. But obviously, if I remove two more, you know, that's going to be uh, four players. So then I have to build up again, you know, bring in. But then if I bring in Watkins, it's going to be five. Do you know what? There's a, there's a good chance that I will probably will get around seven to eight players here for this uh, blank game week. Then what I'm thinking to do is kind of look at these fixtures and decide if I want a wild card here or here. But we will see. Anyways, guys, I thought I would give you guys a little bit of my reaction and my thoughts, like early thoughts. I think it's quite essential that we look at these things. You know, game week 25 is about to start. I don't know that if you're watching this video, it's already started. But yeah, thank you so much for joining in, guys. I hope that this has helped you guys. Yeah, big announcement. Oh, man, I cannot wait for the double game weeks. Oh, it's going to be so much fun and so much chaos. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and always, always drop a like on the video. Anyways, guys, have a good game week and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.